In this video, you will learn how to do some book operations on your library. Now, in our previous video, we created our first library and uploaded a book, which is Alice in Wonderland. Now, in the books uh, subpage, we can see the book that we uploaded, single book, but in the case of multiple books, we'll have many books stacked on top of each other. Now, sometimes you'd want to uh, edit the content of a book in the library. And that is possible since the book is hosted on the cloud. You can click on download to edit. It will give you a confirmation uh, dialog box. Are you sure you want to continue? Click on yes. It will start downloading the book to your computer. Okay, it will go to the edit screen and it will show you the book content where you can edit it as you want. Okay, you have access to all the chapters, everything in it. And after you're done, at the bottom right, you can see this is something that's, uh, that you don't normally see in the edit view. That this book is being edited off the server. Do you want to apply changes online or detach? Now detach, uh, detach means that you're, uh, you want to extract this book so that you can use it locally. You can save it as a normal file and, and so on. So you just want to, Save, detach it from the library or from this operation and uh, just uh, use it uh, like a normal book. Apply changes online means that it will take this book and will up, it will upload it again and replace the version that's on the server. So click on that. Okay, it gives you a warning. You want to continue? Yes. So it's going to upload the book and replace the content on the server. So that's basically how easy it is to edit books dynamically on the fly in your library. Okay, should be done now. Click on OK. Go back to manage. Oops. I have to click on detach. Back to manage. Okay, so that's how you edit the book content on the fly. Now look at how we can add categories, or as they call them, genres to the book. Click on categories in the submenu, and at the top here, we'll enter a name for the category called Children's Story Books. We'll click on the button, Add Category. Okay, now it shows you the number of books that are assigned to this category and the number of views and the downloads. So those are basically statistics. Now go back to books and from the category list you can assign this book to children's story books. So these changes happen uh, immediately to the server. So we'll go to export and uh, click on the link for the library just to see the change. So now since since we have a, a category, since we have at least one category, we have a new tab called Categories. Click on it, you can see it displays the category. If you click on that, then it will filter the books according to this category. We have this book under Children's Storybooks. If you want to go back to, s to view all the books, not filtered, click on uh, this icon here. And, and you're back. So that's basically how you perform operations on books in libraries.